folks, folks, folks. We've got silver. We've got silver. Good morning, folks. We're going to detect this field again. Because why not? It's a decent field. If you'd like to see the things that I've found in this field, watch the last... Watch my last five or so videos. They've all been in this field. They've found loads of nice stuff. So, fingers crossed for today. I'll come back with the first signal. Alright, see if you can guess what signal one is. It's a lead seal. It's a bag seal. Uh, which reminds me, I actually got a identification on one last weekend for the first time in ages. Uh, cheers, Simon. It was a post office one, I think, wasn't it? General post office, bag seal. God knows what this one is. We have a coin. We have a coin. You can see a bit of green on it. What's that? Too small for a half penny, I think, isn't it? No idea. We're going to have to clean this. Not sure. Maybe it is a half penny. I don't know. Give us a wee sec. Let's see. Looks. Looks nice. Okay. This is an interesting coin. There is somebody facing left there, as far as I can see. And if you flip it this way, obviously I think a farthing. I think that's quite, I don't think it's Victorian. Can't be George III, if he is facing left. So who's that? Who could that be? I'll have to go home and look up some old coins, because I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the way you flip it. I think it's it's not that way, so it is old. That's an old coin. Just wish I knew who that guy was. Can't be George II, I don't think, either. And of course the date has gone. <laughs> Let me know who you think that is, please. Coin, 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 look. Looks nice and thin. What's this? It is nice and thin. That looks like, that looks exactly the same as the one I've just dug up. Same size and everything, so hopefully this has got a date on it. Maybe we'll get a bit further with what it is. Or who it is, rather. Alright. Right, this is good, this is good. I now know what both these coins are. Right, so that one I just dug up is here. And look, you can just see the date, it's 1827. It's a George IV. I never find George IV coins. Honestly, I, I think I've found one silver and that might be about it. So that's 1827 and that's what I think that is. I think that's George IV. So there you go, we've just had two George IV coins. And I never find these. And between the two of them, we get an alright bit of both sides. Look, there's his head. There's the date, 1827. Two George IV coins, that's amazing for me. Right, let's get one of his silvers. Come on, pal, let's get a silver. Right, good signal. I'm going to try and do a controlled live dig, one that doesn't go completely wrong. 
All right, well, that was a good start. Instantly hit a giant rock. Come on, let's have a coin. Nah, it's just a bit of tin, I think. Yeah, oh well, never mind. Alright, just found that. Any idea what that is? It's got what looks like copper here, and it's got leather attached to it on both sides. That's leather. So, <laughs> uh, let me know what you think that might be. Right, I thought we had another old coin there, but we don't. We've got a button with a bit of gilt on it, I think. And the maker is stamped around the bottom there. But I can't make it out at the moment. Is that... Leech, I think leech, yeah, that rings a bell. I think I've found that before. Possibly. So, what I'll do, I'll go home, give it a clean research to the maker. But there you go, a little button with a bit of gilt on it. There's the next signal. Remember, a few weeks ago we found exactly the same thing. I think it's a buckle fragment. Not a draw handle, a buckle fragment, unfortunately. Ah, it's burst. I'm really excited for a nice intact buckle. Shoe buckle. I think I can see a coin. Right there. Man, this might be another one of these George IV thingways. Same size, isn't it? I wonder if it's in the imprint. Let's have a look. Nah, can't see much. Right, I'm going to clean this. If we've got triple George IV... Sorry, George IV. Did I say George III there? If we've got triple George IV, I'll be over the moon. Never find his coins. Right, let's have a look. I think it is, I think it's exactly the same as the last two. Right, unfortunately this one doesn't have much on it at the moment. In fact, I can't see a thing, but the colour, the way it looks, I'd say if it's not George IV, it's George III. I'm 100% about that. Which is weird, right? I just I was just thinking I've now found more George the Third coins on this field than uh, Victorian coins. It's got to be. That's what I think that is, George the Fourth or George the Third. Right, we've either got another coin or a button. Look at the size of it. Absolutely minuscule. Even too small for a turner. And it is a coin, I think. Man, look at that. Maybe a turner. <sighs> wow, it's tiny. It's tiny. Look. Right, I'll very gently just blow some of this mud off and see what I think it might be. I bet you I don't have a clue. I can't see a single thing on it. It's an old, old coin. But see, sometimes when I get home, if you play about with the lighting and the zoom on your phone, you can just pick up something that gives it away. Wow. That is an old coin. Folks, 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 we've got silver, we've got silver, it just popped out there, of course I wasn't doing it live, of course I wasn't, sixpence, that is a sixpence, 1936, oh we've got silver again, 
Oh, this looks in good condition. Is it full silver? I think it... I'm not sure, I can't remember. It might not be, but that's a silver coin. Oh... <laughs> okay. I'll give it a clean up. Oh, man. In fact, look at that, there it is, clean. George V, 1936, sixpence. I'll just... There you go, wow, stunning. Almost flawless. 1936, it's got the D there, I can't remember what that means. Uh, where it was minted, or... The batch, I can't remember. There you go, silver folk, silver, silver! I'm trying not to shout too loud because there's folk walking their dogs. Right, I just found something that I've not found for a couple of years, look. It's not just a bit of lead, it's a little lead horse. There's the saddle, beautiful! I went through a spell a couple of years ago in one field where I found about six of these. <laughs> oh, nice, I like little things like that, really personal toys and stuff, somebody's played with that. I'll clean it when I get home. So there you go, a little lead horse. What's in there? That's got to be a coin or a button. <laughs> Why did I say that? Why did I say that? What is that? Why does that look like a coin? Oh man. No idea what this thing is. I'll get some mud off if it's anything worth showing. I'll uh, come back. I think we've got another coin. Or a button. If it's a coin, it's going to be a nice one. It's been cut a little bit. Hmm. That is a coin, I think. What is that? And is that just the plough that's caught it? Right. Two seconds. Nothing that I can see at the moment, but I think that's going to be George the Third or George the Fourth. I keep saying him. I couldn't even identify his coin two hours ago. Now everything I find is George the Fourth, but. Wafer thin, so it's an old coin. Right, any ideas what this is? It looks like a coin that's been bent in half, but I don't think it is. I thought for a second we had a big fat cartwheel penny. Look, the outside it looks like a coin, eh? But there's nothing on it. But why would it be bent like that? And what kind of coin would that be? So yeah, what do you think that is? Have I found anything like that before? Definitely been bent in half. Right, that's a weird one. Let me know your thoughts on that, please. I jinxed it the last time by saying this, but I think we've got a coin right there. Let's see. Yes, this time it is. This time it is. It's not a small old coin. No, it's not. I think it might be a button. Yeah, it's a button. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it a clean up. Okay, that's me done. The wind is picking up big time. 
there's the less interesting stuff. Quite a good ratio of good stuff today, look at that. Beautiful silver, George the Fourth coins. A couple of bag seals and a couple of things I'll identify hopefully when I get home. If you know what anything is, especially this weird little thing, please let me know. And I'll see you next time folks, cheers.